This is gonna be a simple video how to check to see if you have enough refrigerant on your AC unit. It's gonna be done with simple tools. This one only costs $30. No complicated digital things with all kinds of like temperature readings and stuff like that. It's hard as it is to understand how it works. If you have expensive tools, you'll never be able to do it yourself because there's no point of buying $600 tools to do it yourself. I'm gonna put a link at the bottom of this video for this particular gauge. It only cost me $30 on Amazon. The video I'm going to make is gonna be for R22 refrigerant. If you wanna watch a complicated video, there's plenty of them, 30 minutes long on YouTube. You're not gonna understand a thing. Real quick, this is the high pressure, this is the low pressure. We're only gonna work with the low pressure. You have a yellow, a red, and a blue hose. Forget about these, you don't need these. You're only gonna work with the blue. You have a valve over here, you have a valve over here. Both need to be closed. If your refrigerant is low on your AC, you're gonna use more energy to cool off the house and you could damage your compressor. That's why it's good to read it yearly so you know how much pressure you have. This service will cost you $100 if you call a company to come over and they'll try to shove stuff to your throat. This way, if you learn how to do it, you could do it by yourself for free every year. What do you have as far as the dials over here goes? This is the outside pressure, so this is in PSI. This is very, very important for us. Also the inside pressure, see where it says R22? We're gonna work with R22, that's our system over here. Also very important, this gauge is in Celsius. If you wanna be in Fahrenheit, you have to convert to Fahrenheit. If you have a Fahrenheit gauge, you could go that route, but Celsius, it's the more precise way to measure things, easier to understand. So where your pressure has to be on your AC, and we're gonna hook it up and I'm gonna show you on mine. Uh, under 50 is a problem. 60 to 70 is where you wanna be. Over 60, it's too much. How do you read this pressure? You read it when the AC is running. If you read it when the AC is not running, then you're gonna be into the 150s around here. So that's not a problem. Just keep in mind that that's not an accurate reading. You wanna get your reading here when the AC is running for several minutes. So you should be in between 60 and 70. Why? There is a whole list of complicated explanations why it's very, very important. I'll make it very, very simple. You see 60 is correspondent to one degree Celsius, which is above freezing. If you're under 60, your refrigerant can freeze in the lines and therefore clog your evaporator. If you're over 70, then you're gonna be over five degrees. Um, it creates some problems with the gasification of the refrigerant. So as a very, very simple rule, all you have to do is just plug this gauge in and if you're in between 60 and 70, you're fine. If you are lower, then you could always add through the yellow hose, more refrigerant to your system, R22, of course, if your system is running on R22, very important. But those are really the simple rules. Now there is a way that you could check with the high pressure, with temperature and other things, but the problem is that if you check here on this side every year, in 10 years, you're losing enough refrigerant that you have to refill it even though there's nothing wrong with your system. So instead of keep checking on the high side, you don't have to, you could get away with checking on the low side and the low side doesn't lose refrigerant or loses very little refrigerant when you are disconnecting the hose where the high side uses a lot of refrigerant every time you disconnect the hose plus you risk to burn your hands or burn what i mean freeze your hands when you disconnect it so what you're going to do first start your ac system let it run then you're going to hook up the low pressure line which is this one with a valve closed to your low pressure valve. On your AC unit, you have two pipes. One is the liquid line, the other one is the gas line. One is hot, one is cold. The one with the thicker pipe is the one that you have to work on. That's the low pressure line. The thin one is the high pressure one. I wouldn't touch that one, you don't have to. This video is not for that. Once you hook it up to your valve, you should get a reading. Your reading should be in between 60 and 70. 80 is a little bit too high, 50 is a little bit too low. At 50, you have to add refrigerant, where you want to be is between 60 and 70. If you need to add some from 50, you could always bring it back to 60 to 70. And you will see how mine is running. It's running like this for the past 15 years. I haven't done anything to this AC. It's running fine. I have cooled, cold air here in Las Vegas heat, 120 degrees outside with no problem whatsoever. If you want to overcomplicate it, yes, you could calculate it based on the high side with the pressures and temperatures outside and all that stuff, but it's not necessary. Most of the techs, when they come to your house and you pay that $70 service fee, all they do is they check the low pressure and they run away because they have 12 calls that day. They don't have time to F with things. I want to mention to get a proper reading over here, you have to have a good clean filter 
on your system. Removing the filter is also an option. So how you will know is that if you have your filter plugged in and then you're running in the 50s and you take the filter out of your AC and you're running in the 60s, that means that you have a clogged filter and you should replace it. Sometimes you don't have to add refrigerant. It's just that your blower motor is not blowing enough because the filter is clogged or the blower motor is broken. And now you got your reading, right? So you are in between 60 and 70, fine. If you're 55, not good. If you're 50, you're low. At, at that point, if you have to have refrigerant, get a refrigerant bottle here, plug it in, add refrigerant to your system. If you have to add refrigerant to your system, I would recommend for you to watch a video that shows you how to do that. But you could do it with this tool. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is just um, take the yellow line before you plug it into the can, you purge it, so you open up this valve. Refrigerant from the system is gonna flow through this hose, through the yellow hose outside. Once you purge the system, the lines for air, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up the can to it, and then you're going to slowly release refrigerant into the system. And then once you get into the 60, 65, then you're gonna stop and just let it be. And here you go, now you know how to check refrigerant with this one of these cheap $30 gauges. I've been doing this for the past 15 years on my AC system. I haven't paid $100 a year for the past 15 years. I have $1,500 in my bank account because of that. And I have this video to make more money on. So thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe. Uh, Vegas Romaniac out.